So I'm about to wash the dogs, right? There. Where are they? There they are. Plays Coco. And uh, I was letting tonight's video that I just recorded render on my phone, and whenever it's done rendering, it begins playing. And I was looking down at it, and I noticed how red this half of my face was on video, and I looked really drunk. So I wanted to open with this, saying, no. <laughs> One, there's never any in this house. And two, uh, I don't drink with the medicine I'm on. <laughs> I'm just tired, guys. <laughs> I swear. Hey -oh. Lazy night tonight because I am sleepy. Um, let's see, last night just played Monster Hunter, today I've mostly just played Monster Hunter, woke up to fried chicken and KFC, and I swear it was laced with sedatives, because I woke up not tired, and I have just been tired ever since, so, <laughs> stopped in on a friend stream today, thankfully the internet was just able enough for me to hang out in the voice chat just the two of us, and you know, we both got to enjoy the silence of someone else being around, and that was just nice. It's been a while since I, I, don't, I don't think I've gotten to sit, sit in since last Tuesday, so it, we were nearly at a week since I last got to just chill in the stream with my friends. And even though it was just one of them today, it was nice. So, that was cool. But, uh... Yeah. The internet's still being a bit of a bitch on and off. Sundays have been bad, period. Tomorrow will be the real test. If it picks back up again tomorrow, it was just Thanksgiving weekend, and I guess I'll give it a pass this time. If it does not, I guess I'm gonna have to start lighting Verizon signs on fire and posting pictures and video of it on Twitter and tagging customer support until something happens. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Well, I'm just sleepy. <laughs> but I'm about to have to wash the dogs. And I'm, so I'm going to wash the dogs and get a shower. And at this rate, I might just crash after that. So I'm doing this now, just in case that happens. I really don't like using the front-facing camera on my phone because I just end up staring at myself. And when I hold the phone like this to cover the screen, um, the sound gets weird for some reason not really sure not really sure what that's about so yeah also there's no steady cam on the front but anyway uh yeah today's gonna be the first one i think that's going to be under five minutes because Today is the first day that I could probably say literally nothing happened and be pretty much on the spot with that. I just played Monster Hunter and I took off the trash. And I'm gonna want, well, nothing worth talking about. <laughs> like, got nothing to rant about. I guess I could talk about one thing. Uh, the friend I was watching was playing, um, Mystical Ninja, and, uh, he was talking about how it was one of his obscure N64 games that was like a stopgap between big releases, and I was talking about how mine was Rocket Robot on Wheels, and it j it's just remembering the title has dredged up many memories of that game, and how bizarre it was just, it was such a strange combination of so many other things that were going on at the time. Like, it was very much 
Banjo Kazooie esque, where you unlock levels by collecting tickets, not jiggies, but tickets, and in each level you unlock a new ability. Well, I guess stuff was more 2E than the original, but still, like, well, no, it wasn't each level, it was after earning so much currency, or whatever, but it was just, it's just, it's amazing how vivid my memories of that game were once I mentioned it. The stupid little designs, the mmm noise, the guy that fixed you up makes... Like, the first few levels are very vivid to me because I never, I would, there's like, the, you know, it, it's like set up in this theme park with a bunch of different themed areas. And the first one is a, like, boardwalk, like, bo yeah, it's like a boardwalk midway. Um, and I remember not knowing what a midway was. And I think midway were the developers of the game and it was published by Ubisoft back when their logo was that little rainbow arch with Ubisoft written under it or over it, I can't remember. And um, I remember not knowing what a Midway was, and so I just thought they were probably, they were advertising themselves, because <laughs> there was a Midway on it where you did a few arcade games, like you threw apples into the president's mouths on Mount Rushmore. That is very vivid in my mind. Wow. You had to build a roller coaster that specifically went through certain parts on this level. And then they, like the next level was based off of ancient Rome. And the next level was a mine. And then after that it gets hazy because I was really bad at the mine level. And I wasn't good enough at the uh, previous two levels. So like I, that's where I would usually start running out of tickets. I don't remember if it was the next level, but there was, one of the next ones was, um, sorry, that was weird, a uh, sort of Arabian Nights style level, it was just a bunch of the onion ball buildings, like in Aladdin, and you had to fly between them on a carpet thing, and I hated that level, I don't, because like, between the carpet thing being awkward to control and I just couldn't find anything in it. I need to dig this game up and revisit it with like my adult brain. And it's like there were, I think there was something like 15 tickets in each level and you could go in the pause menu and there were these little riddles as to where each one was hidden. Oh man! It's ridiculous how vivid my memories are of like, like the setup was like, it's, it's, you know, Rocket was like, just, he was just sort of there. He wasn't even really important. He was just kind of like, like, so the creator of this theme park made a maintenance spot, and he had two major main mascots of this theme park, a walrus and a raccoon, and the walrus was the, was the big star, and the raccoon was like the sidekick, and the main guy goes home for the night, and he's like, all right, Rocket. Make sure to feed the walrus for me, and not make sure nothing happens to all the tickets, and the tokens, and stuff. And then he leaves, and immediately the raccoon breaks out, because he's tired of second billing, and he steals everything and kidnaps the walrus, somehow. <laughs> Like, in the space of a few seconds. Oh, man. I really need to revisit this now. <laughs> I haven't... I don't... I haven't touched this game in possibly literally decades. Oh, my God. We're talking late 90s. Possibly early 2000s at the latest. It, it could have been close to 20 years since I've last played this game. Oh my god. And it's so vivid in my brain right now. So yeah, I managed to go on about Rocket Robot on Wheels for about 5 minutes. That should 
that makes for a good entry, right? <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so I got about, I got about eight minutes more out of this than I thought I was, was going into it. That's good. Um, yeah, gotta go wash dogs. I guess that'll bleed over into tomorrow, so tomorrow, I really should have waited until afterwards, but it's getting late-ish. It's not. I'm just getting tired and I'm afraid that I'm going to crash afterwards. Well, it's nearly 8. It's close to when I would record this anyway, and by the time I wash the dogs and get out, it would be closer to 9. Uh, I should have just washed the dogs earlier is what I should have done. I should have just washed the dogs earlier. But I'm lazy. And I didn't. So I'm going to go.